people had money, so it was a very good year. <laughs> <laughs> Very good year. Well, let's bring him on out. My next guest is my television brother, a man who in his heyday was more popular. This effect had more fan mail than Elvis Presley. This is not an impersonator. He's alive and well. Let's bring him out. David Cassidy. <laughs> Check your monitors. Watch your monitors. David! David, how you doing? A pleasure to see you. You know, I'd like to say the same. Of course, I can't see you. And it's probably, but, uh, it's probably better it's... that way. <laughs> Great to see you, too. Hey, let, so me, speak. let me ask you something. Um, when, I, when I wanted to interview you, I thought, now I know David so well, I'm going to ask him questions yeah. that maybe only I want to know. So I sat around with a bunch of people to find out what they, uh, what they wanted to know, and uh, I ignored it. So uh, I'm going to stick with what I want to know. Do you need a new bass player? Do you need a bass player by any chance? <laughs> it's always been really hard yeah. for me. <laughs> did, you ever, did I ever ask you this question? Um, you know why... You have red hair? No, why? Your brain's rusted, kid. <laughs> you remember the lines from the Partridge family? Well, you know, I, I usually go to sleep at night and quote my old dialogue, but... Uh... <laughs> wow, I'm not what all are like... you doing? It? Wait a minute. What are you doing in Australia, and who was it who gave you the, the uh, job? Well, You it... do have a job, don't you? Yes, I do. I'm hosting Tonight Live. It's like their biggest... It's like uh, uh, the Johnny Carson show in America. It's their biggest nighttime talk show over here, and I am the host I've heard. all week long. Um, well, of course, if, if you didn't have those photographs of me, I wouldn't be here tonight, but never mind. That's another story. <laughs> I've got some photographs uh, of you here. Now, you can't see this. I am holding up a newspaper at this very moment that says, Cassidy strips for Gina. Nude photos inside. Did you take your clothes off for Gina Lola Brigida? You dirty boy, you. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cool guy? I, I knew it was going to... I just was wondering. I had my watch on. It's actually been a minute and 15 seconds <laughs> that it degenerated to this. I, are you now going to ask me if I slept with Susan Day, too? Come you know, on. I said I wasn't going to... And I told everybody when they asked me to ask, I told everybody I can't. Pretty scary. I asked him once in his own living room, and he hit me in the head. I'm not asking him that question. <laughs> but did you, did, you, did you take your clothes off for Gina Loma Brigida? Uh... Gina and I got to know each other in a uh, semi-biblical sense. Wow! I, I wouldn't, that's the coolest I wouldn't, thing. I wouldn't get to say that, I, honestly. I, I've always been rather discreet about the relationships that I've had. I, I, and uh, Gina is no exception. Well, I, once, uh, uh, I made, once made out with Tracy. That's my biggest brush with fame there. What are you, <laughs> what are you talking about? Had you played your cards right when Jodie Foster was guest starring on the show telling you that she loved you, you could have been a very important man in the business today. Yeah, well, I was young. Uh, Danny, <laughs> you opted for that Indian transvestite thing. <laughs> oh, she's going both ways. <laughs> yeah, Jody had a pretty big by impression way, on me. Yes, sir. By, by the way, have you been arrested yet in, uh, in Australia? No, I certainly haven't. I have been a good boy. How for... long have you been there? Uh, in Australia? I've been here How four days. How long have you been in Australia? Four days. Four days? Uh-huh. Uh, it's just a matter of time for you. <laughs> uh, Listen, I want to ask you something. How long are you planning on being there? I'm planning on being here you? just till Saturday. I see. So if I make it back through American Customs, I'll be... You know, as long as the Customs officials don't watch Donahue, I'll be able to get back in the country. Um, I understand. Here's something kind of interesting that, uh, I want to talk to you about. Yeah. Um, yeah. I read about this Australian girl named Boomla. She won a contest in 1974, and the first prize was meeting you. Now... You had something that happened where you weren't able to show up that day on a TV show. You did speak to her by phone, uh, uh -huh. and she has been, she was crushed. She cried on the phone to you. If, if she were here, what would you tell her today? Uh, it was a toothache. I needed a crown replaced. I, I, I'll tell you Bula? what. Do it. Is it Bula? It's Bula, and she's here right now. Say hello to David Cassidy, Bula. Hi, Bula. Hi, Bula. How are you? Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, good. I, I, of course, can't see you, and, um... She's a babe, like... David. Yeah. You, you blew it, pretty... dude. You blew it. Yeah. Well, it certainly won't be the first time or the last. Um, I, of course, have lost my audio here, and now I can't see or hear you. Uh, no, I, I think I got it back. You're back. So, uh... Oh, wait, I'm back. So, the thing I guess I need to tell you, Bula, is, um... I don't remember a thing about that experience, uh, quite, quite honestly. But, um, I'd love to come back. And um, perhaps you'd give me another shot at that. What, were we supposed to have a date together? No, you, I, was you were just meant to come on this show, and I was meant to hand you all the um, stuff.
stuff I made for you when you were... Um, she actually on. won the contest by having the most David Cassidy paraphernalia of anyone in Australia. By the way, that, wow. was, in, that was in 1974, and a ticket to uh -huh. your concert was $3.20. Well, um, I tried to give everybody uh, uh, a real good show for their money, and you buy that, don't you? Yeah, I'm no, going for uh, that. I, I actually have to be honest with you and tell you that I, I loved playing in Australia. The shows that we did there, I mean this, that... Um, I will not forget the Melbourne Cricket Grounds. Uh, uh, we played the Randwick Race Course, I think, in Sydney. Wow. Uh, Perth, Brisbane, Adelaide. It was they were really fantastic. And uh, I've been trying to get back there uh, and play for the last couple of years. And my manager keeps telling me that there's really uh, nobody cares anymore. But oh, they're wrong. Uh, Even I well, came over here and did 16 sold-out shows only six months ago. So if I can sell out 16, you can stay here for a couple of years. Well, I, I would love to come back there and uh, for, for Bula and uh, for the rest of the people uh, in all sincerity that have been writing me and uh, the letters and everything else. Uh, I can't thank you enough. And it's not that I don't want to come. I would love to come. And um, all I can tell you is please write Polygram Records and tell them that you want to see me and uh, I'll well, that, be there. That's so. my next question. When's your album come out over here? You've got a new album I, out called Didn't You Used to Be? In America, I don't know about Australia because I think um, they've been sort of hedging about releasing it. I think maybe they think there's not enough interest in me coming. I don't know. I really want to come. I would love nothing more to come and play. And, you know, Danny, um, I'm sure you've talked about it. You opened some shows for me here in America. Uh, you were pretty great, I got to say. Um, oh, well, thank you. I loved it. I'd love to have you come and do that again, so who knows, maybe we, hey, maybe we could do it, it in we could do it over here together, that would be great. Listen, um, I'd like to do that. I want to ask you some stuff that, that I didn't know, apparently the, the writers and researchers on the show really do their work. You've been a guest star on the L.A. poetry scene, have you been out doing poetry readings? Well, um, you know, there are these uh, pseudo-intellectual poets here in Los Angeles, um, you remember them, they used to run the studios here. Oh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, anyway, there are a bunch of ac actors who uh, actually got into thinking they were poets. And um, I, with a couple of friends of mine, uh, Scott Baio, um, just a, a bunch of people here in town who really didn't take themselves too seriously, tried to send up um, Celebrity Poetry Night. Oh. And uh, we, we did a little of that. Okay, as, so, long as, uh, as, as long as we're talking about send-ups, and then you won't take this too seriously, about yeah, every the year... Expression is, taking the piss out of yourself yeah that, that's an expression over here every year yeah, somebody is. approaches me about why don't uh -huh. they do a partridge family reunion the brady's keep doing these reunions why don't you guys do a reunion and every year they say listen uh david cassidy refuses to do it that would pay my rent for years i could pay off the lawyers i'd be set please you want to do it i desperately want to do the partridge family reunion okay here here's the deal i don't want to do a partridge family reunion but I wouldn't mind doing a, a kind of a retrospective um, where we could sit around and not play. I can't see myself in 1992 playing Keith. You look so um, cool in the red velvet suit, though. You really, you really Boomer was saying. I kept that suit. When you first I kept came, that suit. When you first came up on the monitor, Boomer said you actually don't look any older than in these pictures, and you don't. How did that? I mean, I age, and I age two days for one. Somewhere in your attic, do you have a picture of me growing older? <laughs> David Cassidy goes out and parties. I get big bags under my eyes. It doesn't You're seem so fair. You're so bad, man. <laughs> you are so bad. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, of course, I, I pack it nice every night, Dan, as you know. Yeah, but and, what do you uh... do for the face? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we got to take off. The new yeah. album is Didn't You Used To Be. Look for it. It's on Polygram. It's going to be out here in Australia. I've been playing it in America on my radio station. It's totally worth hearing. Ladies and gentlemen, David Cassidy. Thanks, David. <laughs> See you, buddy. Oh, that was so cool. Say bye, Bula. Bye, Bula. <laughs> Excellent. That was so cool. All right. Let's go to a break with some vintage David Cassidy. Let's see. Roll the tape. Let's see.